Mr. Chairman, generations of young and old have grown up captivated by space. My generation could all quote the eternal words of Neil Armstrong as he took the giant leap with mankind's first small step on the moon. Space was famously described as the final frontier where man should boldly go where no one has ever gone before. Later generations invoked the brave cartoon astronaut Buzz Lightyear as he called for us to go to infinity and beyond. We could immediately recognize and associate dramatic music with space, accompanying Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey, or George Lucas's score of the original Star Wars, or David Bowie describing the wayward Major Tom as he floated high above the Earth. Many great space endeavors of our generation have now become memories. Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo, Sputnik, Skylab, and the Space Shuttle. These were programs that seized our imagination and inspired the best that the human spirit, science, ingenuity, technology, and imagination could offer. We have blazed beyond 2001, and 2021 is right around the corner. The challenge of the next generation is to apply that same motivation, commitment, and creativity displayed by their predecessors to take to the next level so we may best utilize space to better improve our lives, deal with nature's challenges, improve communications between people, and find ways to leverage space to help solve mankind's greatest problems. With the huge cost of space research and development, the leaders in the field must move beyond national competitiveness and continue on the path to cooperation with other nations, academia, and the private sector. This joint work in space research can contribute to better understanding and tolerance among people and nations. Mr. Chairman, I am proud to represent the state that today stands at the forefront of science, human ingenuity, and innovation. We are proud to be among 11 countries that have space launch capability and the over 60 countries that own and operate approximately 1,200 active satellites. Our commitment to scientific excellence has encouraged the human capital at our universities, research centers, and our private entrepreneurs to work together and blaze this new path. We don't see space as the final frontier, but as the logical next step for us to test our abilities and focus creative energy. The Israeli Space Agency is focused on just this kind of peaceful outer space cooperation as it promotes innovative scientific projects based on international collaboration. The agency has signed cooperations agreement with sister agencies from various countries, continues to expand links with international partners, and has sought to advance a number of projects benefiting the international community at large. Just last week, we signed a 10-year cooperation agreement with NASA. We see this as further testimony to what Israel has to offer in the field of civilian space research. One of the main objectives of Israel's national civil space program is to position the state of Israel amongst the five leading space-faring nations. Israel's strategic vision is to reach this objective through international cooperation. Mr. Chairman, earlier this month, Facebook announced that it will use the Israeli Amos 6 communication satellite manufactured by Israel Aerospace Industries to provide Internet access to sub-Saharan African nations as part of its Internet.org project. The new satellite will be launched in the second half of 2016. This important venture will allow those in the developing world to have equal access to the opportunities offered by modern communications technology. Increasing Internet access may open up a variety of opportunities to further aid development efforts. This arrangement will allow an estimated 14 million users to set up high-speed Internet connections for homes, businesses, or schools. Mr. Chairman, space is indeed not the final frontier which we once envisioned. It is today's frontier which we must peacefully embrace to learn how we may reap its benefits for all mankind. No one has territorial claims in space. It belongs to us all. In David Bowie's song, Major Tom viewed Earth from space, and he lamented that planet Earth was blue and nothing I can do. Today, we need to see space as part of the solution that will enable new discovery and improve our daily lives. Let us work together to meet this challenge.